Paul begins to transition. He's talking about taking some things off. Take off the sins of the flesh. He says, take off those relational sins. He says, tear down those unholy bearers. Now he moves to the positive. He goes, now that we've taken all this junk off that reflects the world and not Christ, he said, there are some things that God's children need to put on. He says, we have to put on our proper apparel. And so what does he say? Look at Colossians chapter 3, pick it up in verse 12. He says, therefore... As God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves. Let me just stop right there before I talk about the clothing, and that's what we're going to talk about today. He says, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved. Boy, if you think about those words chosen, why would God choose me? God didn't choose me because I'm special. God didn't choose me because I'm sinful. He chose me out of His grace and out of His love. Then He says, holy. Hang on. How can He call me holy? I am anything but holy. And as a matter of fact, Scripture says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. Boy, there, there's more, no more untrue statement about me and my life than calling me holy apart from God's grace. And then listen to those next two words, dearly loved. So God chose me, made me holy, and dearly loves me. Boy, when I hear those three things, you want to know what I hear, and I pray but perhaps that you can write this down. Those three thoughts about me and about you means there's more grace in God's heart than there is sin in my past. You might want to write that down and remember it tomorrow morning. That there is more grace for, for you in God's heart than there is sin in your past. That's an amazing thought. 